All right, this video is the 1982 Datsun 280ZX uh, that I have. This is Todd Sanderson. And I'm going to walk around the car first. To show you, starting the front here, it's absolutely perfect underneath. There's no damage under here, no curbing, all the paint's there. Same with the bumpers. A lot of these bumpers are cracked up or discolored, either from being bumped or sitting in the sun. Same with the headlight wells, they're perfect. The hood, same way. No chipping, no rust, round emblem, same thing. Get down low, as you can see. Car is very straight. All original, no paint work. Tires, of course, are excellent. Hard to see, but in the wheel wells, very clean. No rust anywhere in here. Same thing down low, no chipping, no rust, doors, no dings, scratches, same with the glass, the glass all perfect, the chrome, same way. Another thing to look for on these, if there's going to be rust, it's going to be down here in any of the welded areas. This car's perfect. Original manufacturer tag. And again, these seals, very important. In perfect condition, all attached. Again, down lower. Good. Door panels are perfect. Seats are the same way, no wear. Same with the dash. Very important, no cracks to the dash anywhere. No stress marks, no discoloration. Most of these are faded. A little dirt on it though from sitting out here. There we are. So, yeah, there's cottonwood flying around out here. I have the windows open. Original stereo, and the T-tops are also perfect. No discoloration, no delamination of the glass. Again, most of these sat outside or in the sun and were beat up. Go around back. Again, quarter panel's perfect. The one little blemish in the whole car is right there. And this camera should pick it up. I'll put my finger on it. As you can see, this is my finger. I'm going to back up so maybe you can see it better. See my fingernail going in it? It's about the size of a pea. Right there. That's it. Rest of it again, no rust, straight. Rear bumper's like the front bumper, the way it should be. Tail lights, no cracks. Try to get under the car. There's the muffler I replaced. But again, no rust, no paint hiding anything. It's all original under there way it should be. And then in the here, there's a little bit of uh, uh, shadowing going on here, but this, these here are the original T-top uh, panels that block the sun if you don't want to have the sun hit you. And then this, these here are the bags that hold the T-tops, and these are original. Most of these cars, those are long gone. Those are the originals. The spare tires behind here, and it's original. It's even got the can of uh, uh, 
uh, filler in there. They used a collapsible tire and they had a can of air that you fill the tire up, so it's back under there. There. There you are. Same down this side. Perfect down both sides. Perfect down low. Got the original sticker where it was okayed at the factory. That was never removed. Again, the chrome's perfect. Door opening. Again, no rust. Oh, there's a little blemish piece of plastic that's broke. I didn't see that. So, there's the one interior blemish, a broken piece of plastic. <laughs> so, but again, no rust anywhere. 100% straight. I've got these old floor mats in here. These were here when I got it. And I know it's hard to see, but the shadowing out here, but the carpets are perfect. They're like new. In this door panel. Glove box. Original manual. Then I have the original window sticker at home. I think it was $14,995. Got the original visors that are in perfect condition. Got the mirror. Overhead light, and it works. Everything works in this car. Air blows ice cold. Cruise control works. I know because I adjusted it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop the hood here. There's my wife. She likes this car, don't ya? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna pop the hood. Oops, that was the hatch. I know better than that. There's the hood. I'm going to shut the hatch again. And again, good look at the hood. It popped open. It's perfect. Engine compartment area. All original. Even has the original factory stickers with the Japanese writing. Because this car was built in Japan and shipped here. It was a true import. Original stickers. And this stuff you see here, this black stuff, this is the original rust proofing. All this was rust proof from the factory. Or not factory, the dealer rust proof when it came in. So this wasn't done afterwards to hide anything. This was when it's from new, and that's why you don't see any rust on this car. It's just that even under the engine compartment here, it's as clean as on the top. Get a look in here too. Yeah, most of these people do this stuff to hide. You can even see the original paint under it where they didn't get it all the way on here. So. I'm going to hand this to my son. I'm going to start it up. Hold on the side there. Still here blocking the right there. So come up here towards that. I'm going to start it up so you can see it. Now, keys in my office. <laughs> Go ahead and keep it going. I'll be right back. Keys and off. I'm going to walk around the car.
running. Come back here. As you can see, it's not smoking. It's not burning any oil. It runs the way it should. Take that back from you.